everyone, Suzanne here. I hope you're all well and welcome to So Custom. Today's video is going to be the making of this little number. So if you're interested in seeing that, then let's get started. So starting with the fabric, I'm using this poly fabric, super inexpensive, I got from the textile center. It's a little bit like a crepe fabric. You'll see the texture of it a little bit later on. And onto the cutting out, this is my front piece. My fabric is on the fold in underneath. And again, I'm using my rotary cutter here as I did in my last video because this fabric is quite thin and I wanted to make sure everything stays in place nicely. And onto the back. And you can see just at the bottom there that I have scooped up the side seams at the bottom hem on both the front and back. And this will help me out later on because I'd like to hem this before I sew up the side seams just to give a super super neat finish. Um, so scooping up the hem at the side seams helps me out in doing that. So on to the layered piece. And I made this pattern just by tracing out the front and back bodices, taking off two inches on the bottom hem and adding a one centimeter seam allowance. And that's as easy as it was. And that's my layered pieces done. And my last pattern pieces to cut out are the two straps. Done. And then this is the hemming I was talking about earlier. I wanted to do, or to try, should I say, a rolled hem on the overlocker, um, which is what you see here. And this is my first time doing it. And actually it turned out so nice, so, so nice. I will definitely, definitely use this method again. There is a little bit of faffing about to set up the machine at the start, but the finish you can see here is so neat and tidy, super quick, I love it. And then on to those side seams. So because I've scooped up the hem here, I'm able to French seam the sides. And at the bottom, the side seam won't peek out. So it's just a really nice, neat finish. So just pinning the side seams, making sure everything is lined up nice and neatly. So this is my first stitch along that seam. I had my needle as far over to the right as I could get it and my fabric lined up along the edge of my presser foot. And that's how it looks. And now moving on to the layered piece. So just pinning up in exactly the same way. making sure the edges of the fabric are nicely lined up, pinning along before stitching. So as I mentioned, my fabric is lined up with the edge of the presser foot. My needle is all the way over to the right, back stitching at the start and the end. And that's that done. So now I just need to trim that seam a little bit further. So I'm going to take about a third or two thirds, sorry, off that side seam. Just to help me out when I come to sew up this seam for the second time, I want to make sure that no fabric peeks out. So you can see really how much I've trimmed off there. So in preparation for sewing that side seam again, I'm giving it a nice press. I'm making sure when I press here that the seam line is right on the edge of the crease and then pinning up before completing my French seam. And of course I do the seam on all the seams of the bodice and the layer. So you'll see that here, so that's the bodice piece, all pinned up nicely. And the layered piece. And I only stitch up on camera one of these seams, so that you guys don't have to sit through all of this. So my needle is a little bit further over to the left. My fabric is lined up with the edge of the presser foot. I've backstitched at the start and at the end, and that's my French seam complete. So it's super neat and tidy. And you can see here at the bottom, so that seam doesn't peek out at the hem. It's just a super neat and tidy finish, which I really like. And now to the straps. 
So I folded my straps lengthwise and I'm pinning up that edge before taking to the machine to stitch at my one centimeter seam allowance, back stitching at the start, making sure I'm sticking to my seam allowance the whole way along, back stitching at the end, and that's that done. And now I need to pull those straps through to the right side and to help me out and to make sure there's no bulky fabric inside the strap I'm just trimming off about two-thirds of that seam. I've pulled both straps through to the right side and given them a press and that's those done. And now just to close the whole thing up so I have my layered piece on the left hand side of the screen, my bodice piece on the right hand side. They're both facing me right sides up and I'm going to pop the layered piece in between the bodice front and back and pin together at the shoulder seams. So pinning all four shoulder seams, making sure everything lies nice and flat before I pop in my straps. So giving a little bit of a shake and then I'm just showing here the layers. So I have my bodice wrong side to the layered piece right side. And I'm going to pop my straps in with the seam facing me. So I'm going on top of the layered piece and underneath the bodice piece. Right up to the shoulder, making sure the strap lines up nicely with the shoulder seam and pinning. I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the second shoulder seam. And now I want to stitch the whole way around to join up the layered piece with the bodice piece and the straps on the front shoulder. So on the back shoulder I'm going to leave a little gap. You'll see a bit better when I get to the machine. So I'm starting at the underarm seam back stitching at the start, coming up to the strap piece at the front, pivoting, stitching across, pivoting again, stitching down the neckline. The whole time I'm trying to stick to my one centimeter seam allowance. At the center front, pivoting again, up the other side to the second strap, pivoting, sewing across and around the armhole. And you'll see here, so, I've got to that shoulder seam, I've backstitched, I've adjusted my fabric, backstitched again, pivoting at the centre back and up to the second shoulder seam, backstitching, adjusting, backstitching again, sticking to my one centimetre seam allowance until I come to my starting point. And that's how that looks, super neat and tidy. And now I just need to prepare for the understitching. So in order to do that, I have snipped the entire neckline and armholes. So I've just snipped in the seam allowance. And this will help me out when I come to understitch to help everything lie nice and flat. So I'm just showing here that I'll push the seam allowance to one side and I'll stitch directly on top of that and that will help me out in holding all of the fabric in underneath. So I'm popping my needle down as close to that centre seam as I can get it. I'm about two millimetres away. I'm making sure that my seam allowance is over to the right hand side and I'm stitching directly on top. Trying to stick to that two millimetres away from the seam and sewing as far up the neckline as I can. This straps, at the straps there's a bit of a curve so that won't allow me to sew the whole way up. And of course this is the underarm seam, I do the seam on the back neckline and that's all of my understitching complete. And now the last thing I have to do is insert the strap into the shoulder seam at the back. So I've left that little gap so I'm just popping the strap through that gap, making sure it's not twisted in any way, and pinning. 
and then I'm going to take it to the machine and I'm going to run a line of stitches back and forth a couple of times just to make sure that it's super, super secure. And that is all of my stitching done. And from the right side, the straps are just really nice, neat and tidy. I really like how this has turned out. So I've given the whole thing a good press and just showing here the layers at the bottom, which I love. I will definitely use that rolled hem um, on the overlocker again, 100%. And this is how it looks on. I am so pleased with how this turned out. I love the neckline, both front and back, the width of the strap, the fit, that rolled hem. I just love it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, please do. And I shall see you on Friday in my next one. Until then, I hope you have a fantastic week. Bye, folks.